Welcome to another Friday session. So only today is on Friday and I'm not streaming this live. I've decided to play around with the format of these videos. Probably still going to do the live sessions on Friday. However, I'm also going to now start putting out some shorter videos which concentrate on a single uh, feature or technique and allow you to dive in and learn something quite quickly without having to sift through an hour and a half of live stream to, to pick out the bit you need. Uh, today we're going to look at the new transitions feature in uh, Disguise 17.1. You jump straight into it. I'm going to generate a new Disguise project, which I'm just going to call Transitions. Transitions rely on uh, black and white images for masks or, or movies, so I'm going to... I created a few earlier. I'm just going to drag into the project that I just created. And then we can load up. Okay, so in the disguise visualizer, we can probably lose the projector because we don't need that for this demo. And we'll move our guy out of the way. Zoom in a bit, and I'm just gonna uh, lose the the label there. For trans uh, transitions, you need at the very least a video that you're going to come from. So I'm going to create a video module there. We'll just use the inbuilt disguise um, sample media. So maybe use some color bars. We'll create a section break by pressing Alt S on the keyboard. Then add another movie, which is going to be the video that we're going to transition to. I'll just make that adder. So previously we were able to do this by uh, using universal crossfade and that still exists so if I set um, set the transition to fade give it a two second transition and then play from our first video and go to the next section universal crossfade still exists and that's how you do that in order to use transitions we need to generate another track to hold our mask file so I'm going to say Create a new track called Transitions, and then I need to grab the black and white files that I generated earlier. So you can see I've got a circle, a hexagon, and a star that we can use for these transition files. And just grab the circle. Once to animate this, I'm just going to do this in disguise. So grab the scale, set that to zero. To start with and then maybe four seconds in we'll set that to full probably filling the screen I'm going to create a section break and then label that circle so if we head back into the track that we had at the start now if I right click on the track there Instead of saying fade, I can say track selection. The track that we want is the transitions track. And because we only have, uh, I think it automatically selects the uh, first section you have in there. Because I labeled the first one, we can have circle. And then any other sections that we have will turn up below that. Now, if I go back to our first video, and then next section, there's our video transition. So if we want to set up our other two transitions and create further videos, video modules, uh, this time I'm going to grab my hexagon, shorten that, create a section break. I'm going to label this. Then one more, and this is going to be star. Alt S to split, and then another video module for my star. I'm going to animate these again to keep things interesting. So start at zero there, and then a few seconds in, set that to full. 
we'll do the same for our star. So start at zero, four seconds in. Now we're not quite getting the full fill with this and we've reached the end of the timeline there, uh, the limit of the keyframe. So if I right click I can modify what the maximum value is there. I'm going to set that, I think five will probably be enough for us. So we've increased our headroom. There we go. Now if we head back to our first track, right click on the timeline as well as circle we now have the labels that we created for hex and star. I'll just show you those working. There we go. And then one more for our star. Play next section. There we go. So in terms of uh, these transitions, uh, I'm going to pop back to our transitions track. These are really, really simple, black and white. I mean, we've we've got our got animations there. So the the limit really is your your creativity. As long as you start in black and you move to white, you can create any shapes that you like. So this has been the quick tip on transitions and I uh, appreciate you watching it. Uh, I'll be back for some more quick tips very soon. Thank you very much.